Welcome back to Monday Night Football on ESPN. Quarterback Carson Wentz for the Philadelphia Eagles has been flawless tonight. Four touchdowns, zero interceptions. I love the way this guy Wentz plays, Al. You know what I love about this guy Wentz? He's got no fear. He plays big. He plays strong. I wish he was my dad. <laughs> well, I don't like that. <laughs> never said that out loud before. It uh, just sort of slipped out. Um, but now that it's out there in the ether, I'm going to embrace that as my truth. Uh, <laughs> Eagles uh, huddle up to get the play from Wentz. You know, just the way Wentz has all 11 guys in the huddle on the same page, night in, night out. I mean, that's the type of guy I want making confident, controlled love to my mother, night in, night out. Yes, Al, I did hear what I just said, and I feel like I should apologize, because I, but I won't, because that's how I feel in my heart. And you know what, Al, to be honest, the way Wentz has been taking care of the ball tonight, I have zero doubts he can protect my mother from anything, and me from anything, ever, always, forever. Kansas City takes a timeout with 2.32 remaining in the game. That's a little bit weird and unhealthy, Al, but let's talk about Wentz being my dad as we step aside to hear <laughs> corporate sponsor Duracell, built to last longer, Duracell. Al, you know what? I'm a 58-year-old man, and I look up to a 24-year-old QB sensation. And you know what, Al? I'm not ashamed at all to say that. Hell, hell, I'd pay good money, Al. I would pay good, hard-earned money just to be put in a headlock by Wentz, you know? <laughs> just, just feel safe in there, Al. Just feel loved in there, you know? I mean, could you imagine waking up Thanksgiving morning, tossing the pigskin around with Wentz? I mean, the zip, the accuracy, the warmth. Ugh. And we're back as Dad lines up. Al, if it's okay with you, I'd like to refer to Wentz as Dad for the remainder of the broadcast. Yes, it's what I want. Thank you, Al. Dad lines up under center, calls an audible, moves into shotgun formation to get a better view of the field, though I doubt he needs it with this 6-foot, 4-inch, 225-pound prototype frame, a frame upon which I have no doubts he could give me a piggyback ride as we go trick-or-treating or, I don't know, enjoy a local petting zoo. <laughs> Uh, Dad snaps the ball, hands it off to the Garrett Bundy, that's what I'm going to uh, You know, just the way Wentz hands the ball off, Al, he's got purpose in everything he does. The type of purpose that could really imprint upon a young man in his formative years, or a, I don't know, a 58-year-old broadcaster in the middle of a live broadcast. <laughs> Let's step aside for 10 seconds for station identification. Al, you know what, I think this explains it. I've been showing up at Wentz's house and just doing yard work. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I know. Susan, my wife, she's living. She's absolutely living. I've gone there the last three Saturdays in a row, but you know what? Al, I feel a great sense of accomplishment when I'm done. And just maybe, you know, just maybe the best things in life, they're earned. <laughs> yes, I was definitely drunk, Al, on pride and paternal love. And we're back. Oh, it's our two-minute warning. You know what? Instead of stepping aside to hear from our corporate sponsor, Duracell, built to last longer, Duracell, I'm going to go ahead and stay here and just let all of you know that, yes, I do have a biological father. He was a 5'8", 165-pound dentist with zero athletic ability. He cared for deeply and loved me and my mother, but he didn't have that it factor that Wentz has, you know? I'd be willing to trade every single living memory of my biological father <laughs> just to be grounded once by Wentz, Dad. I mean, could you imagine that outpouring of frustrated love as Dad sends me up to my room for what seems like an eternity? only to knock on my door an hour later and explain the meaning of responsibility to me. And then we get in his pickup truck and we go grab milkshakes at the local creamery. And he tussles my hair and feels like we're in a Bob Seger song. <laughs> uh, and we're back. Two minutes remaining in the game. It's second and six. I'm 58. Wentz is 24. <laughs> Uh, he went, snapped the ball, drops back, looks for a pass. Uh, why are they passing here, Al? Uh, Dad scrambles. Uh, he uh, goes for a gain of three, and he's taking down his own 48. Uh, Al, I don't know why they're running, even trying to pass the ball here. I mean, Wentz made something out of nothing. No, he's not getting up, Al. He's clutching his knee, Al. What's going on, Dad? Get up. Get up. Uh, why is he down, Al? What's going on here? Uh, Nick Foles is coming into the game. At Lisa, can we go to Lisa? Al, where the fuck is Lisa at? Can we go to Lisa? Lisa, where are you? Lisa, on the sideline? Can we go to Lisa on the sideline? Lisa, why is Wentz not in the game? Why is he out? He's standing up, Al. He's standing up. He's going to the locker room. Lisa, Lisa, I'm sorry about my emotional outburst. He's, I'm being informed by Lisa he's going to the locker room for x-rays. That's okay. He's a tough guy. Uh, he's going to be fine. 
Nick Foles lines up under center. <laughs> Snaps the ball, I gotta go find my dad. Daddy, yeah! 